So I hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot out of part one of how to memorize lines for your audition. This is part two. And thank you for all the positive feedback on part one. It seems like a lot of people did get a great deal out of it, which makes me very happy, makes me feel good. So this is part two. And there's gonna be a part three because the response was so um, intense. <laughs> and, and again, thank you for all the compliments and it seemed to be very helpful. So I wanna do a couple more videos just riffing on memorizing lines. And again, going over these really practical, doable tools. I covered most of the basics in that first video. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. And now in the third video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fine tune and expand a little bit and offer a couple more practical tools to really help build on the tools I offered in the first video. But here in the second video, I really want to talk about what I think is the most important thing about memorizing your lines for the audition, okay? The most important thing in regard to memorizing your lines for the audition. And the most important thing is this, that memorizing your lines are not the most important thing, okay? I can't stress this enough. Being totally cold on the lines, being completely off book, that is not the most important thing. The most important thing is giving an honest and spontaneous performance, okay? The most important thing about the audition experience is giving an honest, spontaneous performance that reveals the real you, your actual personality, and creates the illusion of character. This is the biggest thing. Look, this video I'm doing, if you've noticed, I'm walking through the woods as I'm doing this video. And if you follow me on the different places that I do videos, you know I like to do this. But one of the reasons why I wanted to do this for this video is to give an example of it's the content. It's what's the most important thing? Not the great lighting, not being perfectly placed with the mauve gray background. The most important thing is what I'm doing. And does what I'm doing have meaning and value? And if it does, then you don't care if I'm walking through the woods. It's kind of cool that I'm walking through the woods. And it's the same thing with your audition, okay? If in your audition, you are giving a free, honest, spontaneous performance where you're really going after something with the reader, then if you stumble on a line, if you look at the script, if you improv a bit, it ain't the end of the world and there's a good chance it's gonna make the illusion, the magic trick of the performance, go to an entire other level. What you need to do is practice using the teleprompter because all auditions are self-taped now. I mean, 95%, right? 92 to 96%, something like that, of auditions are online and they're going to stay that way, right? They're gonna stay that way for monetary reasons. The studios, the production companies, people are saving so much money and it's working. So the auditions are gonna stay online. So one of the things you wanna practice is the art of reading off a teleprompter. The art of having your script right here. You can't see it, I'm imagining my script here or having it here or again on a teleprompter or on a piece of poster board, wherever it might be. But you look at the line and you grab it and you bring it back. You look at the line, you grab it and you bring it back. And you choose specifically, you can practice this. You can practice going, at what point am I going to look at the script? Because if you're drilling the lines, especially in the way that I you know, talked about in that last video, you'll be surprised how well that works and that you probably know most of the lines when it comes time to let it rip and actually tape the audition. So if there's a couple points you keep stumbling on, just have the script in front of you or on the teleprompter and practice, this is when I have to look over. This is when I have to look over, right? But here's the thing, guys. I always say this to my students. You can only have one primary purpose in the audition. And if your primary purpose, if you're trying to have two, right? If you're trying to give a spontaneous, honest performance and let it rip with the reader and get the lines right, now you're... Because you can't do both those things. And most actors, 
I think, are trying to do 19 things at once. They're trying to make sure they have the perfect frame, make sure they don't move their eyebrows too much, say every line perfect, take their emotional temperature while they're doing it, and wonder how it looks while they're, and also try to be honest, but you can't do all that. You just got to do the one thing and let it rip, and trust that other parts of your brain are taking care of business. So, even if you have to pick up the script and they see you holding the script, it's not going to effing matter if it's honest. If I'm doing the scene and I'm like, hey, listen to me, man. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't give a about what you think. And I'm going to go for it. If I look down like I did and grab the word like I did, you can't even tell that I'm looking and you don't care because I'm staying on the action and letting it rip. When you do the actual audition, you've spent whatever time you spent memorizing those things. You decided where you're going to shoot it. And look, shooting it in the woods, shooting in the kitchen, shooting on the couch, wherever. If you don't have the perfect mauve gray background, if the lighting isn't just so per, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you are honest, that you're going after it, that it's spontaneous, that you're not lying, and you can't let trying to remember the lines get in your way. You gotta open your mouth, look the reader in the eye, and go after what you want, and let them be there. Whatever comes out, comes out. If you need to look at the script, if you have to grab the script, if a little improv comes out, be on the other, be on the action. And I am not saying, do a literal like I'm not saying have the audition be an improv like I'm gonna make all my lines up and it doesn't matter as long as I'm honest no you want to spend the time doing the exercises I talked about in the first video to get those lines down and if you spend that time they will be in there to a large extent you also want to practice using the teleprompter you also want to practice having the script you know here or here and practice grabbing the words and coming back and play with where is the script and where is my reader where is the script and where is my eye line you want to practice doing that so that then when you let it rip you've spent the time memorizing the lines you've spent the time deciding when you're going to look at the script you've been practicing with the teleprompter and now you can just go after it, right? And whatever comes out, it's like, it just comes out. The main thing is getting. The only thing when the audition is going is get that specific thing you want from the reader. Let it rip, let it rip, let it rip. And you can, you're going to retape it. I mean, you can do three or four loops of the thing, right? And I'm going to talk more about how looping can help in the next video, but never stop in the middle of a self tape because you think the lines are all messed up because you think that it's wrong. Keep going, keep going keep going. The one that you want to stop is probably your most honest take. You wanted to stop because you were confused, because you were struggling, because you didn't know what was going to happen next. And that's what we want to see. We don't want to see some phony character struggle. There, there is no character struggle because the character doesn't exist. The only struggle that exists is your struggle. You, the actual human being. And if you go after that one thing, if you keep coming back to the reader and trying to actually physically get what you want from them, trying to actually comfort them, actually put them in their place, and it's very specific to you, it's a very specific thing, and it's doable, you can see in them if it's happening, if it's not, and you're making adjustments based on what you see in the reader, not based on your ideas of the script, not approaching it like a spelling bee. I'm just trying to remember. No, just letting it rip. If you do that, then it will create the illusion of character for whoever watches it, and it will be dazzling, and it will be honest. Okay? So hopefully this rant in the woods makes some kind of sense. I was going to have scripts and boards and things to help demonstrate, but I was here in the woods doing another video and I thought, you know what, me just letting it rip right here without any props. I can do some more prop stuff in the next video that I'm going to do, but I wanted to just do this one right here right now and let it rip because I thought it would be an example of everything I'm talking about. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're interested in auditing a class for free, just click to the link. Just sign up. It's in my bio or it's right below me. I would love to have you watch us in class and see what we do. Let it rip.